my name is Samantha. I am a former special education teacher. Today, the topic we are going to be discussing is teaching money. It is my favorite topic of all time because there are so many fun hands-on games that you can play with this topic. If you are a special education teacher, make sure you click the subscribe button and click the little bell too to turn on the notifications for whenever I post. No matter what the topic is, my favorite game of all time is Kaboom. If you have not heard of Kaboom, you are 100% missing out. Kaboom is a super fun interactive game. There's a lot of different ways that you can play it, but my favorite way to play it is on Google Slides. You can play Kaboom during a whole group instruction or small group instruction. You can even do it as a math center. My favorite way to play it is definitely with the whole class though. They all love it. You need to make either two or three teams. Usually I just split my class in half because teaching special education, we typically don't have a ton of students. Each team will pick a number from the Kaboom board. Then once you click the number, either a money math problem or a Kaboom will pop up. If a math problem comes up, the students have to solve the math problem. If they get it correct, they get a point. If they get it wrong, they just don't get a point. If instead of a math problem, a kaboom pops up, you can do it two different ways. You can either choose that the students on that team just don't get a point or that team loses all of their points. However you wanna play it, it gets very interesting. On to number two, my second favorite math game to play when my students are learning about the topic of money is this or that. This or that is another interactive game. When students are playing the game this or that, there's a lot of different ways that you can play it, but the way that you, we usually play it, we'll have two different mixed coin values on each side and the students choose the coins or the side that is bigger. So you can either have students hold up a number one or a number two depending on the correct side, or you, my favorite way to do it is I get my students up and moving out of their chairs. I make them go to that side of the room that has the correct answer. Number three, my third favorite game to play when I'm teaching the topic of money is, actually it's more of an activity, but it's a scavenger hunt. I love these scavenger hunt cards. I will link them down below. So what you will do as a teacher, you cut them apart and then you can either tape them on the walls or you can hide them throughout the room. Students will have a recording sheet and then they'll go around and solve the math problems that you've posted on the walls or around the room. It's a lot of fun and again, it gets your students out of their chairs because they're there all day. It's kind of nice to get your students up and moving. I highly recommend the scavenger hunt game. Number four is this money dice game. I love it, especially in special education because there's differentiation throughout it. There are a bunch of different game boards within this resource so that you can choose if you want your students to work on identifying coin names, identifying coin value, counting same coins, counting mixed coins, counting same dollar bills, counting mixed dollar bills. You get the point. <laughs> It's an awesome game that has a bunch of different levels to meet the needs of basically all of your students. It's great. So students will roll a dice. For instance, we will say that we want our students to work on adding up different coin values. So number one, if they roll a number one, it, the students will pick a penny. If they roll a number two, the students will pick a nickel. If they roll number three, the students will pick a dime and so on. Students will take turns rolling the dice and collecting their money, and as they collect their money, they are also adding up their total. The first student to get to a dollar wins, or instead you can have students play for a whole period or however long you want them to play, and whenever the timer goes off, the student with the most amount of money wins the game. Fifth activity that I totally recommend is coloring coins by name and value. I love this activity and my students love it so much. You know, even high school kids, they like to color. All kids just love to color, it never gets old. It's really great for identifying coin names and coin values. The Color by Coins worksheets are totally free, so make sure you click the link down below to get those in your inbox. I'm curious, what are your favorite games and activities to do with students when you're teaching money? Make sure to comment below. All right, that is all. Those are my top five activities and games that I recommend when you're teaching money. I have linked them all down below. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell to make sure to follow me and get notifications on my next videos. Bye guys.